finally made it. Okay. Episode 10. Ugh. Took eons. I need I need to um Yeah, my damn case is broken. I'm taking this damn thing off. There we go. I'll fix it later. Man, it took so damn long as I was thinking some stuff in my mind earlier. Golly. Anyway. You tell him, Soma. Um, forced to. Without her consent, that is. Oh, that noise is from outside. So basically, this episode is called Surpassing Down When Erina's Concern for Her Mother Makes Her Think That It Will Be Best. Oh, there's the title. Sorry about that. Ugh, someone's really cute. Um, is this different? Never mind. So it's still the same, um, intro. Um, let's see. For everyone, if I see, which is basically that creep with the black hair won the competition, Joe Chiro, whom I forgot that person is, returns to Japan, reveals that to Dojima how he met someone's mother became involved with Asi. Surprising dad. They only just have to read the damn Dad, subtitles. Know. He came over and spoke to me. Yeah, that deal we made about you not being Princess Erin's friend if you lose, I take it all back. There's something I want you to say to her instead. Since you're her friend, tell her that she has your blessing to get married to me. Oh, He's trying to scare me by demanding we get married if I were to lose. Oh man, is that what had you so ticked in your match? You were throwing ice daggers at poor Takumi. No, um, that was different. But hey, if you ask me, you're worried about a whole lot of nothing right now. The tournament bracket has been announced, right? As long as I keep winning, I'll end up facing Asahi Saibo before you even have a chance. And that's where I'm gonna totally wreck his evil ass. So when all's said and done, you two won't even get to face each other. Maybe. I doubt it'll be that easy. You saw what he can do. His cross knives are powerful. No kidding. And so what? Since when did you decide to join his cheerleading squad? You've been acting weird lately. What she really needs is a different type of power. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I have some strange feelings about all of this. Somewhere deep in my heart, I may be hoping that you actually lose to him, Soma. What? Asahi, nicely done. Thanks. Everything's been going smoothly with all your help. All that backdoor dealing you did to get me into Toski Academy, plus the secrets of the Nakari family that you dug up. There's still one more thing we're investigating, though. It's fine. We've got all we need. The end is in sight. Soon everything will fall into place and I'll be married to the ultimate woman in her god tongue. I still find the whole idea of this god tongue fascinating. It's a special trait that appears in people of the Nakari bloodline, isn't it? It is, but Mama and Aaron and Nakari are somewhat of a special case. It has been inherited from mother to daughter. The birth of a god tongue is cause for celebration in the gourmet world. But it's a different story within the Nakari family. After all, every god tongue in history eventually came to hate food and suffered a cruel fate for the rest of their lives. Hmm. I was barely old enough to know my surroundings, but I still have faint memories of it. I could see my mother. She was dreadfully thin and pale in the face. She threw up everything that she ate. Hmm. She couldn't even stand the smell of soup. That's horrible. Then one day, my mother left the Nakari family. Listen, Erina. Mother's senses are incredibly keen, so she must step away from cooking anything for a while. She needs some time to soothe her wounded soul. Okay, how long will that take? When will Mommy be able to come back home so I can see her? And so, my mother never came back to the Nakari estate ever again. Hmm. <sighs> It's really quite ironic. Although the god tongue is the pride of their family, it's an ability that none of them wants to be born with. Yep. But my cross knives can sever those cruel chains of fate without fail. 
My plan will come to fruition. Mana Nakari and Princess Arena. The both of them will enjoy a nice, happy ending. Nice evil. Because we both share the god tongue. My mother will be nothing but displeased if I win. I am certain of that. I can't save her from the clutches of despair. I don't have what she needs of me. But on the other hand, if Asahi did pull through, we might stand a chance of actual happiness. Mm. I hate to break it to you, but I'm taking Asahi down. Look, I get there's a lot riding on this for you, but it's none of my business, and I honestly don't care. So, uh, don't say that. I'm gonna catch some Z's. Good night. Mm. All right, I'll leave it to you guys to wipe out the rest of the rivals. And hey, if you end up facing Princess Arena before I do, I won't mind if you knock her out. And that meddlesome Soma Yukihira. Jeez, that god tongue is a real pain in the ass. <laughs> Seriously, when it comes mm. to her cooking critiques, she blabs so much it kind of pisses me off. <laughs> and yet here she is, not speaking her mind to a person she really wants to. Hmm. Probably because of her past, that's, that's why. The next day... Yeah, I, I didn't watch last week's episode, unfortunately. There's Arena cooking. Wait, the okay. Does she has like pigtails now? She looks adorable. <sighs> Not gonna, I, I can't pronounce her first name. That's his, that's like his catchphrase, and then Saiba, as Yasahi basically. Welcome. So, I see. Yep. This is really my mom. Oh, it's mother. Those were good times. Back mm. when both my mom and dad were working their butts off in the kitchen, mm. I would watch them every day and never got sick of it. Tomoko, make me something special. Okay, go. Oh, adorable. <laughs> so her name is. Oh, crud! She's gorgeous! So we get to see his mother for the first time, her appearance. Oh, You're kidding me! And yet again with the man having the the food gasms. Wow, she's gorgeous. I've never seen someone working at an eatery be such a bad cook before. She does deliver good stuff sometimes. Her fried rice is usually pretty dang tasty. Damn straight, fried rice is the one that I've screwed up the most. And failure is the ultimate mother of success. Dear God. Oh, adorable. Look at his little nose. So that's where you got the 
Yeah. That's where he got the octopus habit from, from his mother. I forgot I forgot when he makes one of those dishes. Because she made it fun, without even caring about success or failure. Yeah. Listen up, Soma. It's all in the left hand. Mm. Try it out. Okay. Fuck. Oh, it's gonna get burned. Oh, it's fine. Just keep on going. Oh, to all parents of Guardians, Parents Day. So she has it all cleaned up. This is a wiggly one. You okay there? What's all the racket? So close. I swear it, Dad. I didn't let it touch the floor. No, 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 no. Oh, so that's where you get the scar. It hurt too bad. But this might leave a pretty gnarly scar on your eyebrow. Oh, scar? That sounds super awesome. Because he, because he tripped. Came up with this masterpiece yesterday. It's delicious. You're amazing, honey. <laughs> hey, look, mom. I made something, and it's way better than dad's. Mm, you haven't reached your dad's level quite yet, boyo. Yeah. <laughs> Yaki Hira, I Daniel. Wish our family of three had lasted a lot longer. <sighs> she passed away. I saw the trade is scheduled to go down at the same time as your match with the young brat. Other members of Noir have taken things into their own hands. Just leave them be for now. Yo, first time we've met up in Japan, isn't it? I see. Joichiro. Mm. My wife went to the great beyond ahead of me. Which means that Soma, my son needs me right now. So, what do you think? If you're up for it. You're welcome to come with me. So he knew him since he was a little boy. I'm and not going. Okay. He was stolen from me. By Soma. Joichiro. Your son is a pathetic washout. I'm going to destroy him. Trust me. Speak there won't be anything left. Speak for yourself. Hmm. Sorry. Anyway, but yeah, and I definitely gotta. I can't wait for next week's episode of Unicorn. So basically, I wonder how Soma's mother died. It's so awesome that we get to basically see her parents. Like Dion, oh, you're so lucky that I missed this week's episode. I'm glad I haven't. No, because um, the thing is, is that. Basically, Soma helps his father, Juichiro, at his fresher, right? Because of how he and his mother are pussy professional chefs, which is why he's so um, experienced at such a young age, because he was able to experience cooking with them. And basically with him getting the scar because he tripped while he was holding that big... It looked like a salmon, but it's not a salmon. Um, the big red fish, right? The first one is based off of, of a child, child buck, if I actually recall. And basically, he's, 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 he's his honoring his father. I mean, his mother mainly because of how he was taught by her. And then he basically is honoring his father, you know, after they basically, um, you know, buried her and whatnot. And I'm surprised for Asahi since he basically knew um, Soma's father since he's a little boy. And I'm guessing he's gotten jealous for some odd reason. So, I, I try to follow up, um, the, the Food Wars anime because it only comes on uh, weekly. But, basically, that's how great Sama basically has cooked. And he's actually doing it for Erina as well. Because she had a little bit of a rough childhood. And I'm guessing that's supposed to be her grandfather that we've um, seen, so to speak. So, be, um, speaking of Food Wars, I decided to do a little challenge. You know, I can't do it on camera. I cooked, basically... Two packs of noodles, right? This is supposed to be top ramen um chicken noodles that I bought from Dollar Tree. I paid a dollar twenty-five for this, right? And then I decided to add some Korean seaweed, a little bit of salt, and then be adding the flavor to it. And 
I definitely need to add more glue to actually fix this. Even though I can't, you could definitely tell that my case is broken. But it's the reason why it's been hooding up my phone. Plus, you know, it's more difficult without it to, you know, do screenshots or something if I need to keep notes on stuff. So, other than that, I just thought I could actually just share this anime because it, it, I really love watching it. And yes, I thought so much really cute. And... You know, it, it just reminds me how close I am to my mother because she's been through a lot with me, not to mention with my, um, being molested in my childhood, right? I want to go into that thing again, okay? I mean, I already explained it multiple times. Um, for the ones that don't know about it, well, you could probably find it somewhere on my channel, you know, because of that family member was just my age. I'll never forget what he did because I was an infant. He was almost a grown adult. You know, he was underage, but 16 now, right? But... Um, it's not working. It's fine. I hate this damn case. But yeah, um, other than that, since it's still commercial, um, frick. Man, it's fine. I'll have to do this afterwards. I'm, I'm getting glue over my phone. But, um, I'll be adding both these together. Okay? And I hope that y'all have been enjoying the episode so far. I may not get copyright because the other episodes didn't, but since I did turn it up more, there may um, be um, an issue, so to speak. Oh shit, Dion, you open up too much, it's fine. I've never ate two noodles or two packs in one serving before. I don't know how Nickel Nickel Coddle Avocado does it. I'm just glad he's losing weight and I'm happy for him. Honestly. Because I know a lot of people growing up, even in high school, like oh see for example those obese. Oh my Buddha, this is heaven. Why not talk about this sooner? Instead of just eating like a yucky soba. That costs the same price, man. This is I'm getting more food. I'm getting more food out of this. Mm. Deku, do you think it's good? I sure do think so, dude. I definitely want to try some, but you are know you can actually just you know hold it for a little bit. Yeah, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, uh, our first are a little bit cracked up tonight. Anyway. Let me bring it to the kitchen. I know the episode is back on already because it's been like a few minutes. So where was I? One hell of an impression on everyone. <sighs> oh shit! So that's who that woman is. That not like prime minister or something. Her, his friends. Polar star. Meet me. That's much better. Mm. Talk about good timing. I can totally see why you're so proud of all your little ones, Ishiki. And you, Scott-san. I knew you were hoping you could get ready yesterday. Yeah, I decided I wanted to offer him whatever assistance I could. They kept battling and battling each other in the kitchen all night long. Well, wow, like, man, he has a lot of friends that I thought. Well, now, kind of sucks that all these people showed up just for him because I'm about to make him look like total garbage. Dude, you should take that back. Erina has you distracted, doesn't she? Learn to keep your head in the game, boy. Distracted. Don't make me laugh. Huh. My eyes are squarely on the prize, dude. Yep. You recognize this, don't you? His father's knife. His knife. Yep. It's a case? From opening two! Knife match. Generally, there are five great cuisines of the world that everyone knows of. 
While opinions can differ, these include French, Chinese, Turkish, I, Indian, I, I and Italian. Hey, I know you say that. That's three hours. Tell. I suppose the chef that couldn't pull something like this off wouldn't be able to make the kind of cuisine that Erin's mom wants. Wait, that's her mother? You don't have time to what? Over this, so this is a Masaka. Well, as long as I have my cross knives, it is. Jeez, he's a psycho. His collection must cover every style of cooking imaginable. He's putting a rubber rain. That looks just like a cookery knife. A cookery knife? Mmm, soup nato. That one's a spice grinder used primarily in Indian cooking. That's a knife? He's taken the freshly ground spices and is heating them in oil, which gradually brings up the aroma and action and cleaning them. He's doing a different crossover for every step along the way. His hybridization is more complex than whatever he fought against me. The croissant? A sharp turn right into Chinese cuisine. He's putting a Wolverine! Damn it! He's cutting the sea on a shark fin. In Chinese shark fin dishes, they typically like to infuse it with umami flavor by boiling it in Pai Tan Super Oyster Sauce. Then he's using those claws so he can directly drench the shark fin in the umami components. Jeez, he can move fast. He ain't playing around. He's Kumar. I know you'll be able to pull off an incredible dish because you are the man that defeated me. Who the hell? What? To truly engage with spice, one must engage with all of creation. Master Shahi. Never allow yourself to forget that fact. Your heart must always be as soft and true as the Dundurma you make. So he's Turkish. Sure your heart is nice and mellow today? That's right. I'm not in this alone. His senseis. The reason I can make this dish is thanks to so many people. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's the anti-protagonist in this enemy. That's for sure. Then just jack their tools afterwards. I cannot imagine any of them are honestly rooting for him right now. That's just like how the training is done at Totsky. So you mean this man is capable of mastering all of those skills just by using the tools? Hypothetically, let's say there was a chef who wandered the cooking wastelands and lost his way after being swept up by a storm. Well, I can press on with far greater strides than he ever could. Moving fast enough to leave the storm in my dust. I can progress on as much as I want, be it towards entirely new dishes or whatever. Am I wrong? No, you're not if wrong. Someone loses this. Erna will be swept into a pool of despair, and all the gourmet chefs will be discredited. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Asahi's victory is the only possible way to make my mother's dream finally come true. Man, that's awesome. It'll lure off my mind. I won't deny your technique seems pretty great at a glance, but you just admitted to it. It's only a cheap version of our own training. So basically, you're about in the same place that we are, huh? Then all I gotta do is bust my ass and blow right by you. 
I tried to put on 1.3 zoom in, but... Ugh. Wait, he's a peon? What the hell is that? <sighs> well, the music. Man, Summer vs. Aussie. Out, the <sighs> God, two cute boys, I swear. Funny for their owner's love. Anyway, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. It's so funny. So basically, that's supposed to be Erona's mother that abandoned her? I, I, I'm not sure because she looked like her. And then basically for Aussie. Even though he's straight up evil because he's basically forcing a marriage, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, like around India in the Middle East of how, <clears throat> excuse me, this burnt. You basically would have the woman being forced into that marriage at like a certain age and whatnot. Not like childhood marriages. No, 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 no. Right? It, it just kind of gives me that vibe to it. And basically, he has those senses that help training him, even though he knew Suma's father. So. I don't know. <laughs> Lucky for me, I already caught up. I'm like five episodes ahead, so I spent myself time tonight. Thank Buddha for that, because I already finished up Punk Castle when Luffy the, um, kicked um, Little Caesar's ass, clown ass, if that makes sense, and I already caught up with my hero. So, I don't know. I hope that y'all basically enjoy watching this reaction, and speaking of, like, marriages or whatever... My mom loves this movie. It's called Sex in the City 2. It's when the girls, they supposed to go to the, um, I think Saudi Arabia, right? And the culture is so much different. You know? I mean, it's it's crazy. I always want to go to Middle East, you know, to be honest. But, uh, I don't know. But, I don't know. I just hope that y'all basically enjoyed this episode. And, basically, Fool Wars, it is a cooking anime. It's definitely great for asexuals out there. Of how you would basically have these um, students, right? That supposed to be um, cooking up these delicious foods in order to actually win these competitions to becoming like a master chef, like the the show, of course, right? If you basically love Gordon Ramsay, and I, I watched that. I watched Hell's Kitchen. I watched Kitchen Nightmares. I can watch Bar Rescue. Love that show, by the way. And I think he has another one about he would travel to other countries. So. You know, it's 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 one of my favorite animes. And there's a lot of dialogue, you know, compared to other animes. So that's why I couldn't talk much. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. What was your name? Something uh -oh. wow, you I, I see I was about to say that. <laughs> so inappropriate. I forgot the girl's name, because I know her name is Jessica Parker. Oh, and Ken Control. The one who's supposed to be the oldest of the pack. But yeah, other than that, I just wanted to share that. And how's she using a cell phone in the middle of the desert? What the hell? And this came out in 2010? I'm surprised to have servers back then. Anyway, um, if this doesn't get blocked, yay. And I apologize. I've been having a little bit of a rough week as always. And hashtag food, war, food wars fuck. I don't know. I can't.